Well, now to a story that you'll only see right here on ABC Big 2 News. This local business has received all the buzz since they opened up only three months ago. While you are getting a coffee from the shop, we wanted to know what it's like behind the counter, grinding those beans and serving the community. Well, for this week's installment of A Day in the Life. Uh, Rachel Hallam sat down with the creators and owners to find out what it's like to be an entrepreneur in the Odessa community. Chuck drives. He doesn't like to drive very far or very fast, but, um, but he is a full-fledged coffee shop. Meet Chuck the trolley seen around Odessa, grinding coffee beans and helping support the Foley family through their love of coffee. Hannah and Jeremiah Foley opened for business back in March of this year. They said this was something they've wanted to do for a very long time. The timing was perfect. We had been looking for a couple of years. We were going to try to do it in 2020. And the world broke. And so we uh, just kind of put it on the back burner for a little bit. We're still doing lots of research, that kind of thing. And they wanted something unique and long lasting. It's kind of the first question we ask, like as a company is, um, is, it, is it beautiful? And, uh, and then is it sustainable? It's kind of our second question. So. If we couldn't make it different and beautiful, then we weren't really that interested in doing it. And with four kids and one on the way to the Foley's, it was almost necessary to make this a family run business. And, and because we have to. It's just, <laughs> we want to be a family that plays together, but also it's really interesting to be a family that works together. But when you put flesh to it, it can be a little frustrating, but I don't think we'd have it any other way, which is convenient because we can't have it another way. It has to be that way right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> they said being a small business in the Odessa community is great. The community has been amazing, and we've gotten to kind of see that firsthand. Well, we want to do something that we would want, that we would want here because we're going to be here, and um, and so that's just kind of our, our calling in this city. And their favorite part, being creative. It's a blast for us. We're both creatives. Yeah. Systems are difficult for us, like meaning you do the same thing every day. Now, we do it, yeah. but it's just not our favorite, right? We, we did learn quickly that, like, oh, it's very easy because we have so much fun with the being able to keep it very, like, sustainable where we're able to do it well because the creativity can yeah. kind of take over. And an important factor in serving coffee to their fellow Odessans was making sure there's a personal touch. When it comes to like having a small business and that the importance of personal touch, relationship, it's not just a word to us. And while there were some doubts ahead of opening from Jeremiah's perspective. Almost daily. Almost. No. <laughs> not you? No. Their hard work has continued every day and has paid off. They have a message for future entrepreneurs. If you want to bring something into the world that's special and unique um, and a piece of you, then I just I highly recommend it. Like it's it's fun, provided you know and understand the challenges you know that that will await you. Reporting in Odessa, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big Two News. So awesome. Hours and location for the trolley can be found right now on our website. And along with other day in the life stories that Rachel's done highlighting many different jobs around the basin.